Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. Dot com. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to convert a CentOS installation into an Oracle Linux installation. Red Hat recently announced they're killing off the CentOS distribution. Updates for CentOS 8 are due to end in December 2021, so that gives people a year to find a new home. One option is to switch to Oracle Linux. Fortunately, Oracle make it really easy to convert an existing CentOS installation into Oracle Linux. In this video, we'll convert an existing CentOS 8 installation to Oracle Linux 8. Before we do any major changes, we should always make sure we have a backup of our system. This gives us a convenient restore point. I'm assuming you have a backup before carrying on. We display the contents of the ETC CentOS release file, which shows us we have a CentOS 8.2 installation. This is a minimal installation, so we need to install the wget command. Oracle provide a script to do the conversion, which you can get from GitHub. The link is in the description below. We use wget to download the script and then run it. The script sets up the Oracle Linux repositories, then goes through a few cycles of replacing CentOS packages with Oracle Linux packages. It also does any necessary updates. Once the main operating system conversion is complete, the script installs the Oracle UEK kernel. At this point the conversion is complete and all we need to do is reboot the server. Once the server starts we check what we have. The ETC Oracle release file shows we are now running Oracle Linux 8.3. The uname-r command shows us we are running the UEK kernel. If you're happy to use this kernel, the process is complete now and you can test your server. Oracle Linux also includes the Red Hat kernel, known as the Red Hat Compatibility kernel. If you'd prefer to use this kernel, it's really easy to switch. We check the available kernels in the boot directory. We pick the highest version kernel that doesn't contain UEK. We make this the default kernel using the grubby command and the set default flag. We reboot the server so it boots using this kernel. Once the server starts, we still have Oracle Linux 8.3, but now we're running the Red Hat compatibility kernel. Once again, we need to test the server to see we're happy with the conversion. So if you're looking for a free alternative to CentOS, you might want to try Oracle Linux. I would always recommend a rebuild over a conversion, but if doing a rebuild is not an option, give this a try. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.